Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I'm Meher Sher and these are the headlines. The U.S. says it has killed five Taliban fighters in an airstrike in Afghanistan's central Wardak province. The spokesperson for U.S. forces in Afghanistan said the air raid was carried out in defense of Afghan government forces. Colonel Sani Leggett said the airstrike was in accordance with the U.S.-Taliban Doha agreement. Pakistan has summoned French Ambassador Mark Brady to lodge strong protests over republication of blasphemous caricatures. The Foreign Office says it took up the irresponsible statements of French President Emmanuel Macron against Islam. Spokesperson Zayed Dafi says Pakistan's sentiments over the Islamophobic incidents were conveyed to the French envoy. Prime Minister Imran Khan reaffirms Pakistan's determination to continue playing its role for peace and stability in Afghanistan. Addressing the Pakistan-Afghanistan Trade and Investment Forum 2020 in Islamabad, Khan said peace in Afghanistan is important for the promotion of trade and economic activities in the region. Azerbaijan says it has liberated 11 more villages in Zangilan and Jabrail regions from the Armenian occupation. Earlier, Azerbaijan and Armenia accused each other of violating a U.S.-brokered humanitarian truce. More than 1,000 people have been killed in fighting over the Nagorno-Karabakh region since September 27. The global number of coronavirus infections has topped 43 million with over 1.15 million deaths. India's caseload has crossed 7.9 million after more than 45,000 people tested positive in the past 24 hours. In Pakistan, the virus has claimed three lives overnight with the tally reaching 6,739. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at indus.news.